Hi traders, Nathan Bray here from ACY Securities. Now a few weeks ago, I made a case for looking at the potential to possibly buy gold. I know I'd been very short for a few months before that, but what I'd like to do now is have a look at how that trade is performing, which we posted on our live interactive trading feed on Telegram, and then look at potentially what targets we might have in mind. So we were looking at a level down around 1680 on gold versus the US dollar. Now at the time, gold was right down on a, a strong weekly, monthly, major support level in line with the longer term trend. Now, before we get to looking at the charts, the fundamentals at the time, I was suggesting that it could be possible that the US was gonna go into a recession. Now it has, so it had two uh, quarters of negative growth. But of course, as governments do, they try and come out and tell you that that no longer can be the definition. But the other things that I'm noticing that's really weighing down on the US dollar side of this trade is we're seeing a bond inversion. So we're literally seeing people being paid more for holding a two-year bond than for a 10-year bond. So that is suggesting that the market's factoring in uh, at least a recession on that side. Now, the bond yield inversion, especially the two-year and the 10-year, that's predicted almost every recession since the history of recessions. So we've got that happening. Now, on the positive side, we have had a greater than expected jobs data come out of the US on Friday night. So that was the non-foreign payrolls. Meant to be at about 250,000, it came in creating 528,000 jobs. Now you would think that is going to be really positive for the US dollar and therefore not so positive for the gold price. But all we saw was a small pullback in gold that then recovered the next day. And the rationale for why that is happening is because on one hand, we've got all these jobs being created, but on the other hand, we've got our labor force participation rate actually dropping. So there are less people working even though they created 528,000 jobs. The other thing that I noticed was we've got a all time record high on the number of Americans who are actually working to full-time jobs. That's right, there are many Americans working two or three part-time jobs. And in fact, out of that 528,000, we lost 70,000 full-time jobs down to part-time. So you're in a position where you've got rising inflation, which is good for gold, okay? But on the other side, you've got all these jobs being created, but more people working part-time and they're having to take maybe another job to pay for the fact that inflation is rising and the amount of money they're being paid, in effect, counting in inflation, is giving them a pay cut. So at this stage, I'm still very bullish on the continuation of this new formation trend down at major support. Let's go and have a look at the charts and give ourselves an idea of where this target might be moving forward. We're looking at a gold against the US dollar on a weekly chart and you can see this area I've highlighted, this 1680 level of major support that we were looking to for a buy option. Now, if you zoom in on a daily chart, that 1680 level also presented us with an, uh, a nice engulfing bullish candle here. So at this point here is where we were last looking for a case for gold. And we've seen at this stage prices moved up over the last uh, three or four weeks. We're into our fourth week now. But it's reaching this 1786 level of uh, support becoming resistance. And you can see it here. And as I move across the chart, this level of support, is that going to become resistance and continue this lower top and bottom trend? Now, that's the area I'm looking for. So at this point, I'm getting risk out of this trade, that being moving my stop just above break even because if this trend does continue, but if we get a break and a hold above this 1785, 86 level, we could see a move uh, all the way back up to retest that 1900 level. So I'll be keeping a really close eye this week on what's going to be coming out 
uh, in the news. So we've got inflation CPI data on the US supposed to be a big pullback. So we'll see if that's the case as that may be negative for gold and we may see it fail back under this 1786 level. I'll also be keeping an eye on the GDP data coming out on the UK because this quarterly report is expected uh, at this point forecast to be negative. So if we get some inflation continue and some negative GDP and we get a break of this 1785, 86 level, then this trend could very much continue and it could be good times for gold. So traders, I've got risk out of this trade. I brought my risk to break even at this point. Now, if we get through this 1785 resistance level and continue this trend, I believe that this goal can move a lot higher back up into the 18, 1850s. That's all from me. Go gold.